In this video, we are going to add one more page that is related to the post item on the sidebar. And the page I'm talking about is the related post page. So let us see what it looks like on the finished project. So if you click on the post item on the sidebar, and then you click on the related posts link on any article, it will take you to this page where you can uh, see all the posts, the related posts for that particular article. And then you can click on you can select one of the posts in the all post column and it will be added to the list of related posts. So basically just setting the articles that you want to be displayed under that particular article as a suggested or related articles. Okay, so this is the page you are going to be designing. Um, I should mention also that what we will design in the new project is not going to look exactly like what we have in the finished project. I think this page, um, this page can use some modifications. For example, the manage post button here is unnecessary because you can simply just click on the menu item on the left sidebar and it will take you to that page. So this looks like an unnecessary addition. The related post title here too it seems hardly necessary since we are already displaying that here. And there are a few other minor tweaks that we are going to do on this page, mainly just design tweaks uh, that we are going to, to get into once we start implementing. Okay, so for now, we have established that we are going to remove the Manage Post button as well as this um, main title. Okay, so let us begin. Um, as usual, uh, since most of the pages look very similar, I'm going to copy all the code inside Confirm Delete that HTML and I'm doing that because if you look at the confirm delete page I just want to have an empty page where we can fit in two uh, tables inside it and this one provides that empty space for us so I'll copy all the code inside confirm delete that HTML and then I create a new file inside the post folder under admin called related posts that HTML and then I'll paste all that code that I copied inside it. Then I scroll to the top and I change the title tag of the page from confirm delete to related posts. Okay, I scroll down to the page content. And here are the few changes I'm going to make. First of all, we don't need a title as we established. Um, so I'm going to remove the title. We don't even need this responsive table div, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, so all we are left with is the admin container wrapper, which limits our page to a certain max width of about 1000 pixels. And then we have admin table and then large box. Yeah, we need large box because um, the size of the container that will wrap these two boxes is uh, certainly large. That's why we are leaving this. And now we can proceed to add the two tables. Also, we are leaving the admin table class because if you look at our CSS, all the styles for tables are placed uh, after selecting the admin table class. Okay, so we need to be sure that these our tables are being wrapped in, inside a container that has a class of admin table. Okay, having established that, we are going to create these tables are actually um, have a size of small. That is, they have a size of small box. So we are going to create two divs inside this large box. And each of those divs will have a class of small box. So this one is for all the posts, all posts, the all post column. And then it will duplicate again and the second one will be for the related post column okay now i'm going to add some comments here and this will be marking the beginning and the end of each of the small boxes just to avoid confusion okay so this one will be the column for related posts so it starts there and ends here. All right, now we can start adding the HTML for the tables in the columns. 
Now, if you look at this table, it has a search box on top of it and then a table under it. So this looks a bit like what we had in the manage posts uh, for our page. All right, so I'm going to copy the, cost, the code for this manage post page and then modify it to suit this all post column. So let us go to index.html inside the post folder. And then we scroll down to the page content. And then we start copying from, let me see. We don't need uh, the featured post form. So we start copying from table actions. So we copy table actions. And then we copy the responsive table from, from opening to close. So we close the table body and then close the responsive table class or element. So we copy these two. We come over to related posts. And then let me just provide some space so we see very clearly where we have pasted it. Okay, so I paste it inside the all post small box. All right, so this all post uh, box is not going to have pagination. So we are going to replace all this. We are going to replace all these pagination links with uh, a simple text that says, let me see, let me just copy it here. A simple text that says this. And I believe you don't even need the div element. So I'm taking those out. Okay, so that's all we need for the table footer. And then I'm just going to leave only one table row. So let me delete one. Okay, the columns we have on this table are simply the table or the serial numbering and the table, the title column. So we have serial numbering and then title. Let me remove the author and the rest of the columns. So remove the author and then the rest of the columns. Okay, and for the title of the post, we don't need to wrap it around a link element. So I'm going to take out the link element and I'm also going to remove the action links. So there is no editing or deleting that we're going to be doing here. Okay, let us refresh and see uh, what this looks like. So we go to the post folder and then we open related posts.html and this is what it looks like. Okay, we don't need the filter column or or the buttons either. So I'm going to remove those. So we will remove the filter, the select uh, option filter. We remove the table buttons. And we are left with just the search input. And I believe we can also remove the fil table filter element wrapping the text input or the search input. So let us refresh and this looks good. Let's be sure to add a title. It will just be an H2 level uh, heading and it will say all posts. All right, so we are adding that just after the opening small box div. Refresh and this looks good. So the next thing now is to add the other column. So I'm going to just copy, I'm going to just copy all the content within this uh, first small box div. So I copy all of it. And then I paste it inside this second one. And then we can now modify. This will now be related posts instead of uh, all posts. We are not going to have a search, so I'm going to, uh, let me see, just remove this. And then let us see how this looks like, okay? So naturally, it is going to stack it one on top of the other, but we don't want this. So let us do something. Let us use flex to display it side by side. So with flex, any container that has two child uh, containers inside it, if you just give it a style of display flex, 
it will display those two child containers in a horizontal direction all right so automatically it just places them side by side i'm just going to give them a justify content or space between so that they can be pushed to the ends right it's it's hardly necessary it's hardly visible but just to be safe it's good to uh, add that property so on the finished project we have a save button that we use to save all the posts we have selected as related posts so let us add that here instead of this text so in the related post column in the related post column I'm going to remove this text and add a button instead. And let's just set the type to button for now. And then we give it a class of BTN, primary BTN, and long BTN so that it spans the entire width. The text is simply going to be safe. So let us refresh and it looks good. All right, there is a certain tool tip or rather a tip, a pro tip that we need to add on top of the table. So I'm going to copy this. And then on top of the related post table, I'm going to add a paragraph of text. And this is what it's going to say. So we will be able to drag and drop to order the items on this table, as you can see here. Right, so this will just guide the user to know about the feature. Now, once the user has clicked on an article to arrive at this page, they should have a way of knowing which uh, post they are setting this related post for. For example, in the finished project, when you click on an article, for example, growth mindset and how I doubled my skills as a developer. If you click on the related post for this article, it will be displaying that article here so that you will know um, which article you are dis you are selecting this related post for. So we need to display that also here. All right. So what I will do is I'm going to make sure on the related post table we add we have two table rows instead of one. So I will wrap all the existing headers inside a table row that is inside the header. And then I'll add another table row, but this one will have only one header. And this header will span the two columns that are av available. Then inside this header, we'll just have the title of the, uh, of the article for which we are selecting these related posts. Okay, let me just give it this lame um, placeholder text as the title. And then let us refresh. And this is what it looks like. So usually you might want to view the article. Let me see. You might want to view the article and see the related posts that you have been setting. So I want us to be able to move from this page to the details page and see our related uh, articles. So I'm going to wrap this around a link. So let us do that right now. I'll wrap it around a link and I'll make sure that the link should open on a new tab. Okay, so let us place our text inside this. So we refresh. So from this page, you can click and you view the article and you see the related posts that you have set for that article. All right, so just take a look at this page and the finished page. Uh, let me see, and the, and the page on the finished project. Um, I can say that both of them do basically the same thing, like the exact same thing, and they display all the necessary information required to perform this action. And yet this one is much simpler and much more intuitive. This one has too much information, like most of it repeating. And the text or the font for this related post look really dark and, and, and complex. Yeah. 
anyway that's my opinion um <coughs> i think simplicity is really good uh, it's good to make interfaces as simple as possible while making sure their uh, users will still be able to understand it so we will stop here and then the next video we we will do a few more refinements on this page